Good morning. Hello and welcome to LibTech Tools. I'm Rachel Hendrick, the editor and publisher of Choice, and I'm here with Gary Price, the editor of InfoDocket and ARL Day in Review. And today we're looking at Semantic Scholar's Semantic Reader. So this is a tool that's an add-on to its Semantic Scholar PDF reader. So it's not available for all items on Semantic Scholar, only the full text articles, and it's completely free. So Gary and I urge you to check it out. So Gary, why, why do you like this so much? You're very excited. Well, Semantic Scholar is an incredible academic, if you like, data, database for academic material, scholarly articles. I've been using it for close to 10 years. It debuted in 2015, and I use it all day, every day. One of the features that we're not going to talk about today, perhaps we can at another time, is their alert tool that alerts me to new papers. And I've played with a lot of, used a lot of alert tools over a long period of time. And the alerts I get from Semantic Scholar for topics I'm interested in, and also for citations to papers that I'm interested in, are incredibly accurate and extremely timely. And as you said, Rachel, everything um, available from Semantic Scholar is free. It comes from the Allen Institute for AI, the Paul Allen Institute for AI uh, in Seattle. So you mentioned Semantic Reader. It's a feature that's available for some of the articles available via Semantic Scholar. If you like Semantic Scholar, it plays in the same category as a Google Scholar. I find this to be of the same quality, in some cases better than what I see with Google Scholar, and they're always adding new features. So you can see a revolutionary reading experience, inline citations, skim papers faster, and one of the my favorite features about the reader. So here is a new article that was published the day, uh, two days ago, we're recording this on the 17th, and I'll click on Semantic Reader. And one of the features here is called Skimming Assistance. So what this is basically doing, I'll click here to give you an idea of what uh, it's doing. It's using the AI, it's using AI to highlight the articles from methods, results, and um, and other issues, other factors. You can actually even toggle those and say what you want them to say, different colors, that kind of thing, number of highlights. So all of this is done for the articles available through Semantic Scholar skimming highlight feature. I think this is so cool. I, I really do. And, and when you first showed it to me, uh, Gary, I really thought this is perfect for uh, upper level undergraduates or, or early graduate students who are just learning the parts of an of scholarly article. That's one of the things that we spent a lot of time with on um, in, in my graduate degree. Um, and also sort of, you know, checking to make sure, did Semantic Scholar get it right? Is this really the thesis? Is this really the results? Why are they highlighting this text as opposed to other texts? And I think it's a really great example of how AI can be used as a teaching tool. That it's not doing the work of the scholar. It's certainly shortening, uh, you know, making it, it faster for, uh, for the scholar. But it also is, I think, also a teaching tool. So it's it's really cool. Absolutely. And as you said at the beginning, all of the services available through Semantic Scholar are available for free. If you sign up for an account, you can save things. You can set up alerts, like I said. But it's absolutely a, a wonderful resource. And specifically regarding AI, this is a very interesting use of it. Thank you so much, Gary. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go play with it for a while. Thank you. Thanks, Rachel. Thank you.